Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at Rodos Palladium Hotel in Rhodes Island, Greece and I'm going to take a tour to show you around. I'm also going to show you the room and at the end of the video I'm going to tell you what I like and what I don't like about this hotel. So stay with me. This is the main entrance and basically this is the back of the hotel. So if you are not going to have a room with sea view, you are going to have a room on this part of the hotel. This is a main street. So I think it will be a little bit noisy if you decide to stay here. And here you have the parking lot. So if you come by car, the parking will be right across the street. It's a paid parking, so you have to ask at the reception how much it is. I don't know because I came by plane. So, let's go inside the hotel. This is the main entrance. As you can see, you also have an ATM machine. So if you need cash, you can take cash out from this machine. And if you come by bus, this is where the bus will uh, stop and this is where you are going to get out of the bus. Okay, now let's go inside. This is the reception area. Everything is very, very clean. I like it. And as you can see, very shiny. This is the main lobby area. So basically here is where you are going to wait until you are checked in. Again, everything is clean. And as you can see here, you can have a look at the sea. Over there you have the lobby bar, if you want to drink something, you can do it. And you also have a small terrace here, where you can enjoy the sea and have a drink. Let's have a look now. Yeah, you have some chairs, you have a small table, you can even smoke in here. And this is the beautiful sea, but I'm going to show it to you later. Now let's go back inside. Again, everything looks very clean and very shiny. It's a big, big lobby area. Let's go in this direction. The check-in is at 3 p.m. and the check-out is at 11 a.m. So keep this in mind. You can also ask for a late checkout if you want, but uh, depends on availability. Okay, and if we go in this direction here, you can rent a car. So basically, the small cars will cost you 45 euro per day. And these are the small cars, the A cars. Here are the main elevators. And here we have some shops. We have a jewelry shop. Basically you have everything you need in this hotel. You don't need to go out to buy food or something else. Because we also have a supermarket here where you can find different things from beach stuff to food.
toys so basically you can buy anything from here of course the prices will be a little bit higher but if you need something urgent you can take it from here food water And this is the secondary entrance to the hotel. Still the lobby bar. Over there you have the bar. And here you have a very nice piano. So if you know how to play, you can come and play here. It's Yamaha. Let's go into the room now to see how the room looks like. This is the elevator. Okay guys, so this is the room, it's a superior room with beach view, as you can see it has a king size bed, the mattress, let me test it, okay it's very soft, I like it, here we have an international phone, Again, this is how the room looks like. We have a TV. It looks to me that is like a 32 inch TV. Here we have the mini bar. And we have water and wine. I think these are complimentary from the hotel. What else do we have in here? Just storage areas. These fruits also are complimentary from the hotel. Here you have coffee amenities if you want to make a coffee or a tea. Yeah, okay. Here we have a small desk. These are the bus timetables. They will give them to you from the reception. Ask for them if you want to go to the main city. Here we have another table with a chair. This is a sofa. Very comfortable. Again. This is how the bed looks like. I'll try to catch a wide angle. Okay, this is with a wide angle. So this is the room.
Let's go to the balcony. Wow, the view, it's simply amazing. And it's evening now, it's around 8 p.m. Beautiful. And on the balcony, you have two chairs and one table. And if you want to smoke, you can do it. Everything is very clean. This is what I like so far. The first impression is very good. Okay. Let's go back inside. Let's close the door. So this is how it looks like. Here we have a closet. We have a safe box. Ah, it's big enough. I think you can put a tablet here, a phone, but a laptop won't fit in here. So don't take your laptop with you because it won't fit in the safe box. Okay, what else do we have in here? So we have slippers. This is empty. This is empty. A blanket. And this is it. And here we have the bathroom. This is how the bathroom looks like. It has a bathtub. I'm using the white camera right now, so the quality is not so good. This is the shower. Okay. These are the towels. And this is the hair dryer. It's not very powerful, so if you are a lady and if you have a long hair, it's bet better to bring your hair dryer with you. Okay guys, so this was it. This was the tour of the room. I hope that you like it. Again, the room looks very, very clean. But where is the air conditioning control? Ah, okay, so here we have the air conditioning control. I don't know how to use it, but I'll figure it out. And this is a small table where you can put your luggage. Okay, this is the room tour. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe at the end of the video. And here is the main restaurant area, the gym, the spa area.
This is the gym area. As you can see, they have plenty of machines. And it looks clean. And the machines are in good condition. It's not very big, but it has everything you need to do a proper workout. And this is the main exit to the beach. I really like the flowers. I like the fact that everything is very green. Over there you can go to the pool. I'll show you the pool later. But let's go to the beach now. It's very quiet as you can hear. And today there is no wind. Over there, if you want to play mini golf, you can play mini golf. So it's a two minute walk from the hotel to the beach. Maximum two minutes, let's say one minute. And the sunbeds are free, but you have to come in the morning to, to get some very good places if you want. Here you have a shower and toilets. And this is the beach. As you can see, you have sand. And this is the beautiful sea. Over there is another hotel with its own private beach. And here as you can see the entrance into the sea is not with sand, it's with stones. So you might want to bring your shoes with you because I don't think that you can enter the sea without shoes. Okay, the water is a little bit cold. And as you can see over there, if you look at those people, the water is quite deep, right at the shore. So, if you don't swim very good, I do not recommend you to go too far into the water. This is the main exterior pool. It's quite large. As you can see, plenty of sunbeds. You can get your, your towels from here, but you have to take them back every day. The water depth is one meter, 30 centimeters here but it has various um, water depths depending on the area of the pool. 
is the deepest. The water is a bit cold in the morning, but I think in the afternoon it will be okay. This is the pool bar, so if you want a cocktail or if you want to drink something, you can go to the pool bar. You can go to the beach by taking this alley here. If you don't want to stay on the sunbed here, you have sunbeds over there. There is a player for the kids also. And as you can see, you can stay with the sun beds over there. It's like a small island. There is another other island over there. So you have plenty of sunbeds. You'll find one available, don't worry. And as you can see the pool here, it's one meter ten centimeters. So it's not so deep. As I told you, the area is very, very wide, so the pool is quite big. Here you have like a small cave. have a small bridge, the island that I was talking about. <laughs> this is how you get to the island, you have a small bridge. The pool bar. And here you have a small pool for the kids. The water depth is 0 0.5 meters, so half a meter. It's quite small. And the big pool, this is the, the area where the deep is not so high, so as you can see, you have only 0 0.8 meters. This is that area. At noon, every day, they also have an aqua gym program where you can have a lot of fun. And here are the main toilets and one shower near the pool. It's very sunny outside.
So here you can change yourself if you want. It's a small changing room. Here you can wash your hands or your face. These are the toilets are very clean. Yeah, I like everything is very very clean. These are not in use for the moment. And here you have the shower. Again, very clean. But there is no soap. So it's just for you to clean your body from the pool and if you have sand on, on you. And this is it. And this is the pool shower. Here is the shower. And basically you have another toilet here. It's clean enough. Here we have a snooker table, if you want to play some snooker, you have it. It's close to the pool, but as you can see, it's paid. This is the indoor pool. It's for adults only, so the kids are not allowed in here because it's a spa area. There are also two jacuzzis in here. And as you can see, the water depth is 1 meter 45 centimeters. Okay, and the water is warm. So it's a pool with warm water. And these are the showers. Okay, let's move on. This is the beach bar. This is the garden, very nice. So if you want cocktails, if you want a drink or coke or something, this is where you come. It has a small terrace over there. And this is the a la carte restaurant. So if you want to eat something, you can come here, you pay and you eat. the mini golf area they also have these baldakins I don't know how you call them you can reserve them it's 85 euro per day you have drinks included and snacks but as you can see for the moment is nobody
And this is another entrance in the hotel. This is a small playground. But it's, it looks quite old. And this is the entrance to the a la carte restaurant. The prices vary between 7 euro a cocktail, 20 euro a bottle of wine, and the main dish is between 10 and 20 euros. And again we are back at the pool and at the pool bar. And here is the terrace. If you want to eat outside you can do it. But during day it's very very hot, so you cannot really do that. And this is the main restaurant where you can have breakfast, lunch or dinner. And here is the terrace, which has two parts, for non-smokers and for smokers. And this is the breakfast. As you will see, you have a lot of food and a lot of variety. So for sure you'll find something that you like.
This is the dinner and this is the food that you can eat during dinner. As you can see, a lot of food, a lot of varieties, so you'll find something to eat. This is the dessert. Yummy. And the food looks very fresh. These are the fruits. Again, very, very fresh. This is the cheese area. It looks very good. Here is the ice cream.
And this is the main toilet next to the main restaurant. It looks a bit old, but it's very clean and it smells okay. And this is how the beautiful hotel looks like during night. Let's have a tour. Right now I'm in the room and I want to show you the Wi-Fi speed. As you can see there is full signal. So let's start the speed test. This is the download speed. It's not quite good but it's okay. -ish. And this is the upload speed. Again quite low in my opinion. But for basic needs, this speed is okay. I mean, you can do browsing, you can watch YouTube, Netflix and so on. But if you do YouTube, like me, the speed is too slow. 
Okay. The Wi-Fi for basic needs is good. The Wi-Fi coverage is excellent outside and inside the hotel. So in the entire resort, you get very good Wi-Fi speed. On the beach, unfortunately, there is no Wi-Fi. So you need a 5G or 4G connection. But at the pool, inside, in the rooms, in the lobby area, the Wi-Fi is very good. So this is my last day in this hotel. I have to tell you that I really enjoyed the holidays. The staff here is great, very friendly. They do whatever you want. So everything is okay from the staff perspective. The hotel is very clean. And as you can see here, even the surroundings, everything is clean and green. This is something I like a lot. The food in the hotel was okay. You can find something to eat. If you are very, very picky, you might have a problem. But for 90% of the population, I think the food is okay and you can find something to, to eat for the breakfast and also for dinner. Well, uh, the sea, if we, if we have to speak about the sea, it's okay. But what I don't like is the fact that uh, the, the water is very deep. So if you go three, four meters away from the, the shore, the water is very deep. And if you don't swim, you might have a problem with this aspect. So take this into consideration. Other thing that I don't like is the fact that uh, the room insulation is very poor. So basically you can hear everything from your neighbors when they speak, when they use the toilet, when they are listening to TV. So basically, uh, the, the room insulation is very, very bad. And not only between the rooms, but also you can hear everything from the hallway. So when people go into the rooms, you can hear them speak, you can hear them running and so on. So from this perspective, for me, it's a big minus, the room insulation. And the third negative aspect is the fact that the water in the pool is very, very cold. In the morning, in the afternoon, all the time of the day, it's very cold. So, um, I don't know what to say, but uh, I think they should do something about it. Because mm, people, people are not swimming in the pool. Again, the overall experience, it was great. I really enjoyed it. I liked it. The hotel is great. The staff is very friendly. But keep in mind about these three negative aspects, which might uh, influence your decision. So one, the, the sea, which is very deep, three meters away from the, the shore. I think it has around two meters deep. The room insulation, if you have a bad sleep, consider it twice because you will hear everything from your neighbors. And the pool, which is very, very cold. So in my opinion, if you can manage these three negative aspects, you will have a perfect vacation. Guys, this was it. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks.